Well, even in one Pueblo man's death, a soldier gives back. A video of the veteran who has family ties to Pueblo has received more than 9 million views on YouTube. His donation will now save the lives of two veterans. And his family tells KRDO News Channel 13's Emily Allen they are finding some comfort in knowing even in the end he saved lives. Emily? Greg, a nurse filmed this video as Matt Whelan was wheeled into surgery. Now this video has touched his family as well as millions who've watched it and shared it on social media. <laughs> Soldiers send their comrade I love you. on his final deployment. I was grateful that after everything that he's been through, that um, that there were I mean there were complete strangers there that were just that honored him. Matt Whalen was packing up to move from Pueblo to Texas when he suffered a massive stroke. It, I mean, it was heartbreaking. You know, he's 35 and just like, like that, just gone, you know. In his final act of service, Wayland's organs will give two veterans the gift of life. Parts of Matt's soul are going to be everywhere, you know, and that, that, that makes me happy, you know, that he's still serving even after he died. His fellow soldiers honored their friend who gave so much even in his last hours. He fully deserved that recognition, you know, for everything he's fought for and everything he's been through. Wayland's comrades asked a nurse to film this video for those who weren't able to make it to the hospital in time, but now it's been viewed by millions. We had no idea that people from every, everywhere were going to look at it. His wife, Hannah Gratisar, says Wayland loved the Army and his family. He deployed four times. And then last Saturday, their three-year-old had to say goodbye to her soldier. I told Sadie, I was like, I was like, all right, it's time to, it's time to tell Daddy good night. And uh, you know, and she just looked at him and she was like, good night, Daddy. <laughs> and, and that was that was really hard. And sometimes I sometimes I don't know what to I don't know what to say. I mean, nobody gives you a handbook on that, you know. Even through this pain. Wayland's family finds some peace in knowing he'll serve his fellow soldiers even after his death. Wayland was from Pittsburgh and he was a huge Steelers fan. So today, a group at Dublin House in Colorado Springs toasted to Wayland. In the Newsplex, Emily Allen, KRDO, News Channel 13.